Okay, I'll be doing problem 11. I have to compute the integral of 3x to ln 5 of x dx. So to integrate by parts, we're first going to want... First, I like to remove the constant. So this is going to get moved to 3 multiplied by the integral of x ln 5x d of x. And then to do integration by parts, you want a u and v and v prime. Okay, first I'm going to have u be ln 5x. And then v is going to be 3x. So that would make v prime x. So now that I have that, I'm going to put, let's put this over here. I'm going to put v prime is equal to d divided by d of x of ln 5x, and that is going to equal 1 divided by x. And then for v, I'm going to put this back over here. For v, v is going to be the integral of x d of u, and that's going to equal x squared divided by 2. And now that we have the parts, two different parts, we are going to get ln 5x of x, x squared divided by 2. That's, um, that's this, du, and u. And then we're going to subtract the integral of 1 divided by x multiplied by x squared divided by 2 d of x. So that just combined, we just combined everything all into one. That's most of the work right there. That's the first half. So now that we've got combined into one statement, we're going to want to simplify this. So the easiest way to simplify is that I want to have x squared, this all be one fraction. So it's going to be x squared, so I'm going to multiply by x squared. x squared ln 5x divided by 2. And I'm going to subtract the integral of 1 divided by x, multiplied by x squared divided by 2 d of x. Now I want to simplify this. I'm going to multiply these together. So I'm going to first bring this down. And 5x divided by 2. Subtract the integral of x divided by 2 d of x. Now that I have this, I'm going to want to break this apart again. So now it's going to be 1 half x squared ln 5x. Subtract the integral of x divided by 2 d of x. And remember that we still have this constant out. So, technically speaking, this would be big parentheses like this, all these steps. And with the 3 on the outside. So, but now I'm going to first simplify this and then bring back in the constant, bring back all my parts. So the integral of x divided by 2 d of x, you just use your calculator or, you know, symbol lab, I guess. <laughs> don't, do, don't use that. And that's going to be x squared divided by 4. So now I have these parts. So now I want to put them all in. So the big, big, big thing is going to be 3 Break down my constant of 3, and then we're going to start plugging this in. 1 half x squared ln of 5x, and now the part that we just simplified. Subtract x squared divided by 4, and then all together we want to add a constant, so we're going to add plus c. And that is your final com computated answer of integral of parts of the integral of 3x ln 5x d of x. That's your final answer. Okay, for part B of 11, the answer is false because I need to solve this, I need the integration by parts version of this. And this is actually just a chain rule because it breaks the t that equation into two different parts. So I wanna multiply by that, that and that's my g f of x version, uh, my g of x version. That. 
and that's the chain rule. But if I want to make it integration by parts, I'd have to break it into the formula of integration by parts and have to break these values into u and v. That's a really bad u. u and v values. And then I'd have to take that and plug it in this equation to solve. So down here, I've done a little bit of work, but I can already tell that this is not the integration by parts rule. This is the chain rule.